Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have a very quick update regarding the recently reviewed DNA Design DK20 upgrade kit. Some of the comments in that video asked why I never showed Devastator in the four-legged position and the main reason for that was because the DNA Design upgrade kit really doesn't come with any additional pieces which helps aid this particular mode. I also mentioned that I found the inclusion of the neck piece to be basically redundant as it doesn't really offer anything new at all and by taking a look at the instruction manual that actually came with this set it was pretty much the the same as I had demonstrated in previous alternate transformation videos that I have done for Devastator. However, I'm not entirely sure as to whether or not DNA Design did watch my review, but this morning they did indeed post a tutorial on how to mistransform Mixmaster so that you can get Devastator in the four-legged position. Now, essentially, this is exactly the same as what I have showcased in previous videos, although this time round, of course, we do have the brand new neck attachment. I will also add the instructions that they did post in this video as well. Personally, I believe those instructions should have come in included with this actual set and should not have just been digitalized but nevertheless taking mix master here you can see that i have him in his standard transformation they show you taking the legs here rotating these sections around and essentially bringing the feet around to the front of devastator's head so just repeat the same process bring this section around and essentially just clamp that underneath like so you're then recommended to take the cement drum pull this section forward and then flip out this piece we can then take these sections fold these out and essentially it is exactly the same as what i have showcased in previous videos you're just supposed to disengage the wheels here from these locking mechanisms and essentially take this circular section and this clip and peg them into their original designated slots so you can see how we do have the clip here as well as these circular pieces on the side so you are effectively just supposed to hook that in there and of course snap that into place swing around here to this side and repeat the exact same process so just snap that into place and lock that in there and the only new addition to this is of course we now have this new neck piece now you are supposed to then take this piece snap this into place and now that we have that supposedly the joint where you actually hinge the head up is supposed to be a little more solidified and whilst it definitely is personally i don't believe that this particular configuration really does anything different when compared to what i did last year back in april or may so still i do have some issues with this neck joint if anything it does strengthen the joint up slightly ever so slightly you can see that you are now able to get this section here to hinge up and down but really and truly i do wish they could have come out with an entirely new adapter piece which then would have allowed you to get the head looking left to right and to me I'm not entirely sure about yourselves but I'm not a fan of how all of this looks here around the cement drum so for sure with this particular configuration you now no longer need Mixmaster's legs to actually prop up against the top section here of overload as the new neck piece does support it a little bit however for me there really isn't much of a difference between this and of course the standard figure as far as the all four position is concerned it is exactly the same so you can see I just have the torso leaning over and we now have scrapper and scrap metal and high tower holding the majority of the weight so that just about wraps it up for this very quick update video I really hope that you did find it somewhat informative and of course I shall include the new instructions in this video just so that you can see for yourselves what DNA Design wish for you to actually do with this kit. I would love to know whether or not you find this configuration helpful or if you agree with me in saying that really and truly it doesn't offer a lot. I thank you all for watching and until my next video I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.